Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Deep in the Brisbane Water National Park is a mysterious site known as the Gosford Glyphs. The site consists of two massive eight-foot-high walls engraved with over 300 ancient carvings. Carvings that experts say do not resemble indigenous artwork, but Egyptian hieroglyphs. After deciphering the texts, 21st century Egyptologist Raymond Johnson believed them to reveal the burial site of Lord Nefertiru, a member of the Egyptian royal family who died while visiting the area with his brother sometime between 2637 to 2614 BC. Absolutely beautiful out here. I know. While visiting the area in 2016, Giorgio Tsoukalos met with local ancient astronaut theorist Evan Strong to get a first-hand look at these enigmatic carvings. Wow! That's incredible. I had no idea. I mean, this looks totally different than on pictures. So what do these hieroglyphs say? Well, at least one panel talks about two brothers, two princes, coming here from Egypt. They were shipwrecked. One of them ended up getting bitten by a snake. He then died. The fear is then he was interred here, and that's why you've got hieroglyphs here, because he died here. But there's these other walls with a mixture of symbols. This one over here, it's, it's, it's more of a philosophical, astrophysics style thing with symbols meaning all sorts of esoteric stuff, so. Now, have these symbols at all been interpreted by Egyptologists? There's been a, a few, actually. Mm -hmm. um, a few different um, people have done and that. What was their reaction? Well, Raymond Johnson was one of the first people to come here and, and translate. He actually sent some of his translations off to the Cairo Library and Dr. Abu Diagazi ended up saying, yep, you're on the right track. Something called Proto-Egyptian. And how old do you reckon these are? We're thinking because of the prevalence, at least in one uh, panel of Proto-Egyptian, that it's about 4,600 years old. Wow. Are there any hieroglyphs that stand out to you? Yeah, definitely. Follow me down here and I'll show you this other one. So this one here, um, we call the UFO glyph, and people have called that since they've been coming here because it kind of looks like a UFO. Yeah, it definitely has the classic UFO shape. So, it's got the, the rays or whatever you want to call it. What would you suggest if anyone says, well, this is not a UFO, it's, it's some other symbol, that, but certainly not that? I think someone suggested it's jewelry, but it's a completely different symbol that's upside down and it really doesn't quite fit in. It's one of those symbols here that, that doesn't fit into the canon. In your opinion, why do you think the Egyptians made it all the way to Australia? I think they were looking for esoteric wisdom, definitely. From the Aboriginals? Yes. The ancient Egyptians, we have stories and Aboriginal stories about their arrival and about their visits long before Europeans had arrived here. Naturally, we would have shared ceremony with these people because they have the same similar beliefs as our people. Egyptians have that same spiritual connection to the sky world. Many stories from all over this continent, not just from here, but all over this continent. Talk about those who came by the sea and came to these continents. And some of our knowledge and wisdom and technology went back with them. And if you do some of the research and the last pyramids that they found, they found boomerangs made from iron bark from here. And they have hieroglyphs of blackfellas throwing the boomerangs to take out the ducks and the geese. Now, the question would be, why would they paint us and carve us on their walls if they didn't come here? And if that meeting and relationship was not significant, they wouldn't have carved it. It must have been significant in order to carve 